this thing straight. What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Sorry it's taking so long for me to put another video up, but it's been a combination of quarantine and laziness and just all kinds of stuff. So this isn't, uh, this video, if you can tell by the title, is gonna be about my mango plants. Um, but I still want to make another video about my keto update, weight loss, screen printing, all that stuff. And I was so happy to see all my Jamaican and my island sisters on here comp uh, commenting below. So I am actually going to be making some screen prints of this shirt. I'm still figuring out the red, green, and gold situation, but it says Nabarami. So this is my shirt that I wear um, around the house so my kids know nabada me all right so okay so this um video is going to be about my mango seeds now as i as you guys know my family is jamaican and so we eat a lot well i grew up on mangoes and so i love mangoes and i now i want to have my own mango tree one day and um right now we're in the climate of colorado so we won't be having a mango tree in the backyard anytime soon but my family is in California, so I keep encouraging them, man, grow your mangoes, start saving your seeds, plant your seeds. You have the climate for this to grow. So my mom asked me this morning, hey, show me on uh, YouTube how you um, you know, start your seeds and stuff. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. My mom actually sent me over a box of mangoes for me and the boys and Jay to enjoy. She got them at the farmer's market. I think she sent about five of them. And this is the last, this is the last one left. So and we've been going through them and I've been telling the boys, save the seeds, save the seeds. So we just ate one this morning and this is the seed after my, my littlest one, you know, ate as much as he could from the seed. I told him, okay, don't throw that seed away when you're done. So he didn't and he wrapped it up in a tissue, which doesn't matter. So this is the seed of the mango after we finished eating as much of the fruit that we could. And I'm gonna show you what I do with this. But let me show you the seeds I just had. So we're going to be cutting this seed open. Then you take a damp, you da uh, wet your paper towel and you wrap that seed that we take out of this in a damp paper towel and you put it in a Ziploc bag and you store it in a cool, dark climate. So this seed, we did that about, oh, you can't see. We did this seed about, uh, I wanna say four days ago and that is the root of the, the mango seed, right? And pretty soon we're going to plant this. Now this one looks like it got a little damaged from opening it but the root looks it's just growing and growing so we're still gonna plant it and see what happens um, but that is like I said that's like four days of having it in the bag so I don't I'm not an expert let me just preface that I'm not an expert I don't know exactly when to move it to what which I should probably do some research on my own but um, this this root is pretty good so I'm thinking by the next few days, we're gonna actually put it in some soil. So I'm just wetting it again because it's starting to get a little dry. So I just put it under the sink, boom, wet it up. This seed is, you know, two days later. You know, we've been eating these mangoes up. So it's just barely getting its root coming out. Um, so this has a quite a while to go in the bag, probably another week before I'm gonna try and plant that one. And then, this seed was just yesterday so this there's not there's nothing there's nothing to show actually it looks like something might be trying to poke through already so and that was yesterday so that's what you're hoping for once you get your seed out now I'm just putting these back in I put a little more water in there and I just keep them on my countertop there's a little dark little spot right here I just keep them right there and you know we check on them every few days to make sure that the paper towel is not dried out and we want to keep them damp and make sure that root is growing so this is the hard part 
Now you want to stay away from the corners because I think it's either this side or I think it's this side where the roots gonna start growing from. So what I do is I get my um, kitchen scissors and I try and look for a spot towards the top where I can cut. Okay, and I'm cutting very close to the top, right? I might not have split it open the first time I cut, but that's okay because I don't want to damage the seed. So I cut just really lightly over the top. You see that? And it started to split open right there. So that's good. Now I'm gonna, I try not to cut anymore if I can, and I'll just put my fingers in there and try and pry it open. Um, so it's starting to come. So I've just been digging my fingers in there. If you're not, if your fingers aren't as strong as mine, you're gonna need to cut a little more, but just be careful because the seed is right there. Okay? So I'm just using my fingers and I'm working, working it, trying to get it to open up. So that's it right there. And from there, it is connected to the outer shell, I guess you call it. So you wanna be careful when you take it out. So like I said, I'm just working it, working it open, and there it is. You see how it's connected there? Uh, I'm just going to try and break it further from the seed. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> well, I was going to try and break it further from the seed, but it just came off. That's okay. Well, we'll see if it's okay. I don't know. I mean, I really don't, I really haven't been worried about that part, but Jay was like, hey, maybe that is useful to try and keep some of that. But this one didn't keep, but I think it's fine. Um, main thing is not to, you know, snip the seed or stab the seed. That's the main thing. So this seed came out pretty well. I don't see any damage to it. Um, so I don't really take anything off or clean it or whatever. I do usually sprinkle, you know, put water on it just to rinse off some of the mango juices and then things like that because you don't want to get mold um, growing in your bag. So I rinse it off, get a little piece of paper towel and the root is going to start growing from, from from one of these little sections right here. Okay, I don't know where, which one exactly. I think it's gonna be this top part. It's gonna start growing. And I'll try and update this video next week and show you, I'll label this one and so you guys can see the update of it. But yep, I wet it, paper towels wet, dripping, doesn't matter, okay? I'm gonna stick it in the same bag the other ones are in because there's no mold in there. Um, and that's it. Put it in my, my dark place and I'll make an update video in about a week so you guys can see it. But I'm gonna show you uh, the plants that I have from doing this process. Now, my plants aren't doing great because like I said, we're in Colorado and the weather is not for mangoes. So we've been growing them inside and trying to figure out the best spot to keep them in. And we figured that the best spot was the bathroom. So I'm gonna take you over there. I'm gonna show you how those mango plants are doing. Okay, so here are the three mango plants. So that's one, two, three. This, this one was the first one that we planted that survived. I have done this with about, um, these are all a year old. They're all a year old, which is just kind of showing you that some do well and some don't do as well as others. But um, so this one was the first one to sprout though. And so we were like, wow, look at it go. The stalk was pretty thick. It was giving off these really big leaves. And then all of a sudden, it, the leaves started turning like that. So I think maybe it got sick. I'm not sure. Like I said, I need to do more research. And if you guys know more about mango plants, please leave what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong. Would love to hear from you. Um, so it stopped growing and it kind of, I think it just hibernated. I don't know exactly. We were keeping it by the window and then the weather started dropping. So we moved it. I said, let's start moving these around and try and figure out what place in the house it wants to be. We even put worms in there. Um, just trying to figure out the soil wasn't right. 
but yeah, so now we've put it in the bathroom and obviously we're getting warmer weather. We also have a skylight in this bathroom, so I think that's helping too. And um, it's it sprouted this big leaf and then now look, it's got two new leaves. So it's not, I almost lost hope, but I said, no, we're gonna keep it around and look, it's already starting to grow again. And then this one was the second one that came up and it was growing and putting off leaves like crazy. And then all of a sudden the same type of thing happened to it. You see, look at that leaf just fell off. Yeah, it, I don't know if it's sick. I've, I've got to figure that out. We did trim some of these old leaves off. And again, here, um, it's sprouted to beautiful new leaves. So I don't know if that's just part of the process of um, it growing here I don't know if it does that I really have to look this up but like I said these these are all year old this one did so extremely well we thought this was our prize possession we were like whoa this mango plant is just kicking butt right here had beautiful dark leaves on it and then same thing look at this we tried to spray we heard that if you spray the leaves I believe it was vinegar something um it would help the plant I'm not sure that it did but it's still producing beautiful big leaves so I'm not sure if it just hates this climate or I don't know but we're trying to keep them alive and keep them growing this if you see down in there that's the root from the seed this right here now, I don't know if we should have planted it deeper. This actually was in one of these smaller pots and we replanted it in this, repotted, whatever you wanna call it, um, into the bigger pot. And so that is the root that came from that seed that I was just showing you guys. But yeah, those are our mango plants. Um, hopefully they will continue to grow and pray that one day I can get some mangoes from these, from these plants. So. So that's it, just wanted to share that with you guys. Like I said, I'll try and remember a week or two from now to come back on and show you the progress of that seed that I just opened up and show you that it will grow a root and hopefully the other seeds that I have um, already started the root process on, we'll be able to plant those and we'll get a plant and I can update you guys on that too. So stay tuned, subscribe if you're not subscribed, like this video, leave me a comment and um, hopefully you guys are having a great weekend.